Hi guys, I've got my Christmas hat on and I got my apron on. So you know I'm in business right now. <laughs> so today I'm back with another episode of Cat's Kitchen for you. During the month of December, during my vlogmas period, I'm going to be doing a couple of these Cat's Kitchen videos and they're all going to be, <laughs> you guessed it, Christmas themed. So what we're going to do today is like the ultimate Christmas thing almost all over the world. That's probably not true, but <laughs> at least in Scandinavia. Now don't get triggered because I said the word Scandinavia. Yeah, I'm not even gonna go into that. So we are going to be making gingerbread cookies, which in Swedish we call pepparkakor. And we are actually going to make them completely from scratch, which is something I've never done. So I'm fairly nervous right now, I gotta tell you. <laughs> but my sister sent me this recipe, she's done this recipe, and if she can do it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I can do it because she's a much better cook than I am. But we will try, okay? We'll do our best. Together, we can get through this. I'm actually making half of the original recipe because it's for 90 gingerbread cookies, okay? I don't need 90 gingerbread cookies. I probably don't even need 45. But to scale it down any further would probably be a little bit silly. So what you're going to need for this recipe is cardamom, ginger, cloves, cinnamon, sugar, syrup, an egg, flour, baking soda, and butter. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, I'm nervous, 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 nervous. So we're going to start off by putting all of the spices, the sugar, and the syrup into a pot and turn the hob on, and apparently that's gonna simmer for about 10 minutes. So we've got one and a half deciliters of sugar, half a teaspoon of cardamom, one teaspoon of the cloves, then we need half a teaspoon of ginger. I hope that was half. And then we want one teaspoon of cinnamon. There we go. Then we are moving on to the syrup and this we want, well, the original recipe says one and a half deciliters. So we're gonna need 0.75 deciliters. So another half of these, whoops. <laughs> And now I'm going to turn on the hob. So that's what that looks like at the moment. And I'm assuming this will start to melt <laughs> soon. I've given it a little bit of a stir. The hob is still heating up, but it's quite thick as you can see. So now about 10 minutes have passed and our sugar syrup spice mix has gone from very solid to very runny. So what we're going to do now is I'm gonna put this down. <laughs> we are going to put in the butter. So this is 125 grams of butter. So we are going to pop that in. Whoops! So once the sugar has completely melted in with everything else and we've mixed it all together nicely, we're going to leave it to stand until it's about room temp. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pour the mixture into a plastic bowl instead of having it in the hot pot. <laughs> in the hot pot. So hopefully that will speed up the time it takes for the mixture to cool down and then we can move on to the next stage. Okay, so here we have it. Now all we can do is wait for this to cool down. So now it's been about 20 minutes. I put the mixture to stand by the window and because this is London, that's definitely a, a cold place for it to cool down. So it feels around about finger temperature. I did stick a little finger in there and I can tell you that this mixture tastes absolutely amazing. I mean, it's basically just sugar and spices, but that's pretty good. So the next step is to add half of the flour and an egg. Oh yeah, but I probably have to do half an egg, don't I? Yes, I do. So this is why it's kind of annoying to do half of a recipe, because when they say one egg, then you have to do half an egg. Guess I'll just give it a little stir. So let's do half an egg, whoops. It's so impossible to say. Maybe something like that. And then we're putting in half of the flour, 500 in total we need, so we're gonna put in about 250. I'll be very interested to see how I'm gonna get all of this flour in here without it becoming like super dry and weird. So this is what it looks, whoops! <laughs> oh, <laughs> almost had a little accident there. This is what it looks like at the moment. Now we are going to add, ta -da 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 -da! Now we're going to add some baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. It actually has a little gingerbread. Focus, focus. There we are, God damn it. <laughs> you can see it has a little gingerbread man on there. So we know we're using the right product. 
Apparently, and I actually read up on this, baking powder you apparently use for like fluffy or lighter things and baking soda or bicarbonate of soda you use for like kind of heavier things like gingerbread for instance. So I've got one and a half tablespoons of water here and I'm going to put half a tablespoon of this bicarbonate soda. That's maybe a bit too much. Something like that. Pop that in there and then I'm just gonna mix that and then I guess I'll just pop it in here. Give that a stir and then I'm going to pour in the rest of the flour, maybe little by little. I have to say it still looks like a lot of flour, like an overwhelming amount. <laughs> really gonna have to start working. As you can see it's getting it's getting really thick now and still have some flour to work in there. Hello? Hi, come on in. I need your muscles. Can you help me just like get that last? I just don't have the power. But if you can just do a couple of like folds. Yeah. <laughs> Santa's little helper. Yeah. <laughs> you came at the most perfect time. So there we have it. That is more or less the finished product. Well, I guess the finished product would be the gingerbread cookie, but <laughs> the finish product. Oh, that was funny. Well done. Thanks. Yeah, it is a finished recipe. So the next stage is now to put this either overnight in the fridge or what I can also do is put it in the freezer for just a couple of hours and then I can finish them today. What do you think, Dave? Yes. Would you like some gingerbread cookies today? Yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Get this into the freezer for it to like cool down, harden, and then we should be able to make some gingerbread cookies. So now our dough has been in the freezer for about two hours and I'm happy to say that it is, I mean, it looks perfect, right? I'm pretty amazed. I don't know, I'd like to say that I failed somehow, but I don't think I have. <laughs> I think I've done a good job. So now I have hired a little elf helper named Dave and we are going to make the little gingerbread men and women or whatever we have Trees together and alpacas most importantly alpacas we got that little alpaca cookie cutter from where were, were we estonia. from estonia from the little alpaca farm that we went to we've got the oven preheating it needs to be 220 degrees so yeah now i'm gonna stop playing with the food now and let's make some cookies <laughs> So now we've done a couple of batches. Shall mm -hmm. we have a little taste test now that we've got a few? What can I have? What can I have? You can a have heart. heart. I can have a heart. Thank you. What, what's that? Oh! These two got a bit excited. <laughs> they did indeed. Okay, so the dough tasted good, but what will these taste like? Shall we? They smell great. Mmm. Mmm. Oh quite good. Mm -hmm. They're still a little bit soft so what I'm gonna do is once I've baked all of them maybe even turn off the oven and stick them all in again together kind of willy-nilly however and just let them dry there for maybe even a couple of hours and then they get really nice and crispy. Mm. But pretty good. Really good. Eh? Come close to my microphone. Sorry mm. we have some electro e electric problems today. Electronical no, issues. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's the word? What's happening? Apologies for the bad audio. They can hear you quite well, you know. I don't think so. <laughs> but they're, they're not too, like, spicy. They're just, just right. I don't like it when it's overpowered, like ginger. Mm. These are just right. You could have a couple of these quite happily. Yeah, and I, on the other hand, thought that they needed a little bit more spice, actually. So... To your taste, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Just a matter of what you like, really. But, yeah, I think we're gonna finish this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed making these gingerbread cookies with me and Dave. If you end up making your own gingerbread cookies, then please go ahead and tweet me or tag me on Instagram, whatever. Let me know if you've made some. That would be really cool. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.